Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this photo editing tutorial, I'm going to share five little photo editing tricks that can make a big difference in your editing workflow. So I've got a couple of random photos open in Lightroom. It doesn't really matter if you're in Lightroom or Photoshop. These are just tips for photo editing in general. So the first one is, and this is before you even get into the editing program, is if you can shoot in RAW, try to shoot RAW. So RAW photos just mean that your camera retains the information a little bit better. So for example, in this photo, you see the background is really bright, washed out. So if I shot not raw, just JPEG, it would just be white, just like that. But since I did shoot in raw mode, I can actually try to go to the highlights and pull the highlights back down a little bit. And you see, it doesn't bring back everything, but we do get back a lot of this building and signage and I can even try to bring down a little bit further. So it probably it was just a pretty bright day out, but we can try to do that, lower the exposure. And you can kind of see, we can still see the cloud information there in the highlights. But this goes into tip number two is in any photo, whenever you start working with it, you want to try to fix up the cr contrast, brightness, exposure, just the basic light settings, which you'll usually find under the light section of Lightroom or Photoshop, wherever you're at. I like to think of it as adding a, a nice boost of contrast and make your photo pop how it should be. So if I just boost up the contrast, maybe bring the exposure up, try to account for a good amount of highlight and shadow difference. And you see, whenever we're adjusting the contrast, sometimes things can get a little gray. This is where we can just boost up the contrast a little bit and also maybe boost up the saturation and vibrance a little bit. So you can see from before and after, now we're getting a lot brighter pop of the photo. And of course, you don't always have to make your photo bright and boosted. When you're photo editing, it is an art in a way, so maybe you wanna go for a moody, desaturated look. But in general, for your standard type of photo, a nice pop contrasted color helps with the light. Going into the third tip, and this one is an optional one to keep in mind, especially when the subject is in near the center of the frame, and especially when you have a lot of sky and open air in your shot, is a vignette. So you should be able to find this somewhere in the effects panel, no matter what program you're in. And the vignette just allows us, if we want, to pull a kind of shadow along the edges, just a very slight circular shadow. Now you don't want to go too strong, I mean you could, but then you'd get a whole much more dramatic effect sometimes than you'd want. And additionally, you don't necessarily want to do this on every photo, but just a slight vignette can add a little bit of nice color variation on, along the edges and bring in attention to the center of your shot or the focus of your shot. So you can adjust the midpoint, the roundness and the feathering of it and the intensity sort of. It's definitely a helpful tool to keep in your pocket and one to consider sometimes when you just need that little punch towards the center of attention. The next one we have, and I would say maybe use this sparingly, is if we head over to the crop and straighten section. For one, if your photo was ever crooked, you might want to straighten it as best as you can. I mean, this photo pretty straight, I think. But the other thing you might want to do, especially like this one, there's a lot of signage and advertisement. It's actually kind of distracting in my opinion. And really, I might just want to focus in on the subject of this photo, and that'll give us a lot stronger framing and more appealing photo. So whether you want to turn your landscape photos more into like vertical or portrait or square, sometimes what your photo needs is a good crop out of all the unnecessary stuff. And again, if you ever want to change the aspect ratio, make sure it's not locked to the original. You can just do custom. And in this way, I can go for a more like landscape, taller photo, or if I hold shift, it'll just make it a square. So sometimes a good crop can really be what your photo needs to focus it in. But be sparing with the crop, you know, sometimes the standard HD size is nice. So try to keep the aspect ratios somewhat not too unusual or strange so that your photos all fit together in a collection. Now, lastly, another tip sometimes when you take a photo and there's just something in the background that just unfortunately happened to be there or a little spot that you want to remove 
You can always head over to the spot removal tools, whether you're in Photoshop or Lightroom, there should be something like the clone brush or healing brush. And for example, I will just for example, let's say I didn't want this advertisement right here. It was messing up the photo. I can do some spot healing on there so that maybe I want to add custom text. Maybe I want to put the name of this artist there in Photoshop or do some cool little tricks like that. But I have a whole separate tutorial on spot removal if you're interested. And that's technically five, but if we're not going to count shooting raw as a tip, the last tip we would have once you kind of boost, crop, and do all the basic straightening would be to, if you want, add some curve colors or split toning. So there's lots of different color toning effects that you could do. Um, split toning just allows you to influence the highlights and the shadows with two split colors. So this can be a cool way to add that final creative punch to your photo. If you want, you don't always necessarily have to do split toning or add any color really. You could just keep it the natural strong colors out of your, out of your camera. But if you do want to add split toning, this is also another way that the vignette comes in handy. You'll notice if there wasn't a vignette and verse, if there was a vignette, we get this cool gradation of color that happens because the vignette kind of adds that black to white gradient and burns those colors at the edges a little bit. So those are five basic little photo editing tips and workflow for you to go through any of your photos and just make them pop and boost a little bit. So if you want to check out more, check out more of my photo editing tutorials on my channel and color correcting. I've covered tons of the different tools and you can subscribe to my channel here on YouTube to stay tuned for all of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.